We are in K Bella's, attempting to not get kicked out. We gotta. I'm going ice fishing today, but we gotta get some minnows. I think I'm just not gonna go ice fishing, and I'm just gonna drop a line down there and catch catch that little fish right there. We are leaving Cabela's. We got some minnows. Half of them are dead. Typical Cabela's thing. And they didn't have any uh, like chubs or big suckers or anything like that. So that kind of sucks. So we got wax worms and minnows. Now, now it's time to go fishing. How does she look? <laughs> oh my God. Look at that. <laughs> wow, thanks. Let's go ice fishing. It'll be fun. What does this side look like? Oh, even better. Yep. Nice. Tip number one, ice fishing. Don't forget your cleats. We made it. Why? Alright, so right now I'm gonna go set up all these tip ups. These are these are homemade tip ups. Something that I helped make like five, six years ago. My auger is having issues as you guys can see, so we're gonna see if we can just bust some of these holes open and drop some of these down. Oh yeah, we're good. So this is my tip up setup. You just take a random random hook and you hook them right through the back of the dorsal. Just like that. So you still flicker flickering. And you drop them down the hole, all the way down to the bottom, and then you bring it up a little bit. So like this, and then they pull it, and that flag goes up. And then, the best part is, then they can just take it, and the line will go. They won't even know they're hooked until you come over and set the hook. Done. So we got all the tip-ups set up. We, we set up six, I believe. Yeah, we got set up six. We're just on like a little pond right now, so we're just trying to cover some ground, and then us three are just going to fish close by and throw these little little wax worms. We put minnows out on all the tip ups and then we're gonna jig wax worms to try to catch some, some crappie and some big bass or some really big bass in this pond. So we're gonna see if we can catch any. There we go, I'm seeing, I'm seeing some fish down there on the deeper. We got the juice, come on. You just gotta jig it, jig it, jig it. Oh, I got a bite. Come on, hit it again. Really? Yeah, hit it again. I got him, I got him. I got him, baby. Let's go. Let's go, Gil. Oh my God. Oh Are my you God. serious? That one's bigger. That thing is massive. Oh, it came on done. I literally just can't even get over how big these things are. Like these are just, they're all massive, massive, massive bluegill. Can't even hold them. Yeah, look at that fish. This is crazy. I'm not a huge bluegill fisherman, but I'll take these all day long. So to show you guys what we're doing, uh, using the deeper, right now this is my phone, I've got the deeper in the hole there and Ryan's over here jigging a wax worm up and down. But as you guys can see that- Oh, you got one. You got one. Did you just catch one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, he just caught one. Look at that. Look at that bluegill. As, as I'm showing you all the fish that are on the deeper, you just caught one of them. <laughs> what is this? Are you serious? Look how big that thing is. That's Look, beautiful. That thing is massive. Okay, well Ryan's catching fish for me. So what I'm saying is those little, the little blips that you guys can see right there, those are fish. And I had Ryan, Ryan was, I was gonna demonstrate it, what it looks like to jig the wax or when he actually caught one. So you can see right there, that little, that little orange mark, he's jigging up and down there, right there. You guys can see that. Um, that's what the deeper is looking like right now. So that's what we're using. This is the first time I've ever used the ice fishing uh, feature on it. And it looks just like the regular like sonars that you guys can buy at the stores. So that's what we're doing. Um, as you can see, you can see the little wax from jigging up and down. And so what you do is you look for one of those little lines, the little lines that I was showing you. Those little lines right there, those right there, that right there is his wax room. But as soon as you see a second one, um, you see him jigging it up and down. As soon as you see a second one, then that is a fish. I wanted to kind of show you guys what we were doing to, uh, to catch the fish. Now we're gonna go back to uh, catching more fish. Hopefully I can actually catch something. Oh yeah, there's one coming up on it on the deeper. Come on, take it big boy. Take it big boy, you know you want it. Oh, oh, there he is. Take oh, it, take it. 
Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. He dropped it. He was there. He was there. There he's got it. Got him. Got him. Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, get off there. Get, I don't know. Get off the ice. Oh my gosh, it's a massive gill again. It's got like a purplish tint to him. This is awesome. We just got a we got a school of gills below us right now. We're just tearing up, tearing up these little buggers. See you, buddy. Oh yeah. There's one. Oh, they're here. Oh, he's chasing. He's chasing it. Oh, Hit it. Hit he's it. Got I'm, dude, they're playing with this. They're just chasing it up and down, up and down, up and down. Oh, there he is. There he is. Got him. Got him. Got him, baby. Let's go. Oh, you can just watch him swim around. That's a gill. Oh yeah. We got. I think we're into the nursery of gills now. We're not catching the the toads like we were, but no, they're still pretty That's fun. Good gill. All right. See you, little buddy. Whoa. Come on, fish. Oh yeah, there's one on the bottom. Hit it, hit it big guy. I'm seeing one. A couple of them down there, there he is. Got him. That's a bigger one. Big? Uh, I think it's a big gill, dude. It's either a big gill or a bass. It's a good one though. Is it a crappie? I don't know. Yeah, it's a gill. It's a gill? Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what is this? What fish is this? What species is this fish? Giant gill. Yeet. Big in. That's a, Big that, in. That might be 11, dude. It might be my PB bluegill. I think it is my PB bluegill. I think it's huge. Alright, see you little buddy. Woo! That's gotta be a big in. Oh, dude, that's gotta be a big in. Oh God! Be careful. How do I let? Just no. Just let let it let, let your line loose. Let oh my God! You got a big in, dude. You got a big in on. Oh dude, it's a toad. It's got to be like a four pound bass. Just just go nice and easy, just all the way down and all the way back. Dude, you totally got a giant bass right now. Yes, baby. Oh, let's go. What is this mammoth of a fish? I just pray to God he doesn't come off. Oh, I saw him. Did you? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Calm down, calm down. I'll, I'll try to go. Yeah, baby. Oh, look. Dude, look at that. Look at that. The tiny little jig just popped right off. No way, bro. Give me that. Oh, dude, that's it's pushing four. It's three and a half. Yeah. No way, dude. That's so sick. That's so sick. Oh my God. Look at that brute, dude. That's so awesome. Good job, bro. Nice work. Yes. Good work, son. fish yep yep go. oh oh wow oh, oh boys 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 i think we got a big in it's either a giant bluegill or a good sized bass i think it is it a crappie dude it's a big something it's a big something oh my god oh, oh my, my. Woo! <laughs> look at there it's a big oh something. my gosh what Huge. right there boys Another another slaunch of a bluegill. I am the bluegill master today. All the bass have uh, have pretty much skirted me and swerved me today. But you know the gills, the gills are coming out to play. These are I don't I mean I just don't know if you guys can tell how big these fish are. They're they're massive. I mean they're bigger than my hand. If I was into like, you know cleaning and eating bluegill, these would be for sure keepers. It's not that I don't like them. It's just a lot of work, and I'd rather just catch them again. Beautiful fish. See you later. Jeffrey. Well, folks, it's about that time. Basically, just had a bluegill, bluegill sleigh fest, and caught. A whole, I mean, we probably caught 20, 15 to 20 bluegills. Couple, couple freaking toads. Um, good day, good good day on the water. We caught. Wait, well, you caught a tiny bass. We I didn't show that yeah. on camera. It was a flare fish, and then we had a big one. We had like a three and a half, four pound largemouth. That was pretty exciting. It took about 25 minutes to reel in. That was pretty pretty awesome. So we're gonna pick up all these. These little tip-up things, we got to pick up all of them. 
and pack up and then basically slide my way home through this uh through the muddy field so that should be interesting i got a fish we were picking up we we're picking up the uh tip-ups dude the entire line was out like it spooled out completely the flag was up we just didn't see it it took all the line off that spool like there's like literally 50 yards it's a big one oh. dude it's a big one it's a big one it's a big one it's huge is it big it's big dude it's big dude it's oh my god the entire look all the lines gone out of the oh. spool it took the entire thing fight it oh my god it's for sure a bass it's got to be a big bass oh my Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, oh. baby! Let's go, yeah. let's go! Oh, we were just picking these tip-ups up. Oh my god. It's a toad. Oh, he choked it, dude. Oh my gosh. Look at that fish. That's like, that's about the same size you had. This is about, yeah, a, yeah. about a three, three and a half. Huh, that's clutch. I came over to fix this, tip or to pick up the tip-up. All the line on that thing was gone. We were just stupid. We didn't even realize the flag was up. And that big old girl, she had, she has that minnow all the way down there. That's awesome. This, oh yes, finally, dude. Oh my God. See you later, Carl. Well, folks, that may, that may be some of the, uh, the most clutch, the clutch ice fishing I think I've ever had. We were, we were kind of disappointed we only had that one bass. So we came here to catch bass. Had some nice bluegill, can't complain. And as we were leaving, we were picking up the tip-ups and somehow one of the tip-ups got triggered but the, but the flag didn't go up. And so I didn't know that there was fish there and he took all the line and it ended up being about three pound largemouth. That's pretty awesome, that makes me super excited. I love catching fish on tip-ups. It's just something about feeling the tug in your hand versus the rod, just, it's way better. But. We gotta finish picking up all these tip-ups. We got like two or three left. Then we gotta get the heck out of here and go get some food. 8.01 p.m. Well folks, that is the end of today's video. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed. I had a great time catching massive, massive bluegills and some chunky bass. They weren't anything too crazy, uh, but there were they were some decent ones and you know, it's kind of exciting to catch them, like I said, uh, on the tip up, which is just, you know, hand lining the bass. It's just something about it that I just, I absolutely love. But I wanted to end the video here. I am in my basement. I'm back home. I'm just chilling. I'm going to head out tomorrow, hopefully, and do some more ice fishing. The only issue is it's getting really, really warm. Like, really warm. It, it was like 50 degrees, I think, is the forecast for tomorrow. And people are falling in the lakes I've been reading online. So what I want you guys to do is if I'm not able to go ice fishing, Comment down below what you what I should do. I can't really go ice fishing or probably open water fishing, so comment down below what, what I should do, like some sort of fun unboxing. Just give me some ideas. I really would appreciate your guys' uh, your guys' help on this one because I'm kind of running out of ideas myself. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment down below, and peace.